welcome back guys. I'm just outside my condo here in Bangkok and behind me is a board that I pass every single day and I've only just started paying attention to it. Basically it lists four stations. They've got really unique sort of artistry, design and decor inside the actual stations themselves. They've got a lot of history and uh, they're just worth looking at the stations. But not only are we going to look at the stations, we're going to look at what's actually in those locations as well to make a full day of it. So if you want to spend a whole day out and you don't want to travel too far going from one to the other, these four stations are actually all right next to each other. So you just need to go one stop, one stop, one stop. Stop. So we're going to go together and we're going to have a look and I'm going to show you why you should go to each of these locations. So I've just arrived here at Isra Prap station on the MRT. And what I'm going to do is, uh, well, the station itself isn't as glamorous as some of the other ones that I'm going to show you on this trip. Uh, but it's got a few unique features which are really nice. But it's not the, the station here that is important. It's the locations around here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make our way to two temples here at this location. We're going to go to a big one first. And I'm going to take you down an alleyway. Instead of going directly from here, you can work your way down this road, uh, turn right, go down this little alleyway. It's like this lo nice local little alleyway. It's all covered up. It's a little bit shaded and it just gives you a bit more of a Thailand experience, you know, so if, especially if this is your first time, but there's like some locals down there, a couple of little shops. Everyone is super, super friendly. So we're going to go down that way. I'll show you on the map exactly which way to go to make your way to our first temple here. So this is the street I've just come down here. We're on a uh, street number 38. Now, if you make your way down this alleyway, which does, it's not even an alley, but it turns into an alley further down. And that's, uh, that's where like, it just becomes oh, just a little bit more local, a little bit more Thailand. Uh, better just going along the main roads and that, you know, you're better off just taking in a bit of local culture, you know, and saying hello to people. But we'll work our way down here now. I'll drop um, I'll drop all the links for this in the description below for that for that corner. Uh, like I said, it's on Street 38, but um, I'll put it on the map and uh, just so you can find it and we'll make your way down here. So like I said, the alleyway narrows. You've got a lot of people living down here. Whoa, I nearly killed the cat. Meow, 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 meow. Jeez. Everybody smiles here. Back in the UK, you get stabbed for that. Anyway, let's get in amongst it and I'll show you what's worth seeing at this particular location. This is our first place to visit. This is Wat Hong Ratanaram Racha. I can't do it, this one. Uh, but yeah, honestly, honestly, this, this place is epic. Like, I, did, I looked at it on Google Maps and I looked at the pictures uh, on there as well and I thought, ah, it doesn't look that good. And I thought, do you know what? It's only five minute walk from the station. I thought I'd come and have a look. So I come here a few days ago and honestly, th this is probably the best place around here to have a look inside. And even the outside, just the architecture, all the designs. And uh, yeah, come, let's, let's just take a look around here. sparkles they've covered everything like even even the chandeliers there's so many so much to look at in here i don't even know where to start it's this giant it's super chilled here. there's nobody here at the moment um it's just like a few monks here and there but it's super quiet this is the best time to be traveling thailand Table and chairs made of wood, like the whole thing's actually a tree. Right, that's it for that one. Let's make our way to well, I've got my Chana Mien, which is a Thai milk tea, by the way. Uh, we're going to make our way down to the other one and then we'll move on to the next location after that. 
So we're back at the MRT stations now. Over there is exit number one where we come out before to go to the other temple. And this is exit number two. And the next uh, temple that we're going to is literally just down this road here. Right down the end. So literally a 60 second walk, if that, to get there. Let's go. So we're here at uh, what Ratcha Sitaram Ratcha Wari. No, 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 stop it. We're here. Yeah, I'm sorry for absolutely butchering the names of all of these places. I do apologize. I hope no one takes offense to it. Um, I am trying and hopefully there's, there's no one around for me to even ask. Like literally I'm just alone everywhere I'm going at the moment, which again, like I said, is super nice. I said it's only small this place but um you know it's just literally down the road from the station so it's worth just a quick look even for the sake of spending like five minutes that you can just see the road behind me where the station is so yeah just have a, have a quick look and then uh yeah right let's uh let's head on to our next location stop number two on the mrt So like I said, we've just come one stop here up to Sanam Chai and like I said, we'll do the same again to Samyot and then Wat Mankot. But at the moment, let's see what's here. So I think this station is a station myself, it's probably one of my favourites and it's worth just coming here just purely to look at all like the decorations and like, you know how it's been put together. It really is unique compared to all the rest. The other ones are very sort of clinical but um, yeah, this one's super nice. And there's so much to do outside as well but the, the, actual, the station itself, this one, this one wins. Everywhere's always got like super cool chandeliers. So it only cost me 17 baht to go from uh, the last station to this station, so it was just one stop. But uh, the unique thing about this station is it's got its own little museum. There's actually a museum above here, but it's got like a little museum down here as well, just sort of showing off little bit of history, the architecture. Now I've covered the station in a previous video about the MRT, so I'm gonna link that in the card below and also at the end of the video if you wanna learn more about it. What we'll do is I'll overlay some of the footage from that video on here now to show you what's around because you've got Wat Po and Wataroon and also the museum which is well, right behind me now. Uh, so yeah, there's so many things to look at here. There's about three, four, five different things to look at. And like I said last time, you'll have these tuk-tuk uh, drivers. They'll help you out. Maybe try and strike a deal with them. Last time they were a little bit pushy, but um, you know, hopefully today they're a little bit better. Yeah, that's it for this stop. Let's move on to the next station. So we're heading to Samyot next. That's the next one there on the line. And uh, the station itself is like, not that special, to be honest with you. It kind of looks the same. The outside's got like a bit of different architecture. There's some folding doors. It's, it's what outside that matters. Like I said, this is a tour for mainly the outside. And obviously a few of the stations have got really nice decorations as well. Please mind the gap between train and platform. So make sure you come out here at exit one. This is where you got, you got the, the Sam Yacht sign above. Basically what we're gonna do is go directly opposite. So we're gonna cross twice, twice again, directly opposite. Don't worry, there's no temples here. Well, there probably is, but that's not where we're going now. If you wanna go directly opposite, it's just a short walk. And I'll show you where we're going. So you can see the Sam Yacht station there. I'm directly opposite, like I said. We're gonna make our way down here now to the canal. So here at the Klong Ong Ang, Klong Ong Ang Canal, and uh, unfortunately today, at this time, it is 
closed. Well, at this end, it's closed. Further down, it's open. But basically, on the weekends, from what I understand, I spoke to someone a couple of days ago. They said Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there's a night market here from 4 p.m. in the afternoon. But it already looks beautiful, it is, so I can only imagine how it's going to look with all the night market set up and everyone's stalls and all of the lights. But what you want to do is keep going further down here, and there's, there's so much open. There's like over a mile of stalls that are open right now. So let's go and take a look. There's some serious talent here with the artwork. Wow. It's everywhere as well. So as you keep walking down here, you'll get to basically another sort of cross bridge, make your way over to the other side and then carry on walking. And honestly, it's not too far away. It's only like a two, three minute walk from here. So from here, you get to like this little cross, cross bridge for pedestrians. You can get yourself some food here on the right hand side. Nice little local place. Then if you carry on down here, hit a left. These stalls will go on for over one mile. They just go and they go and they go. You'll cross a few roads on the way. There's some more stalls all the way down here too. It really is bustling around here. There's so much going on. I know this first section is uh, textiles and sweets. They have other stuff for sale. So let's, uh, let's go and take a look. I don't know how far to walk. This honestly goes on for miles. I'll put, I'll find out exactly how far all of this goes along and, uh, and I'll let you know. But I've got to go all the way back to get back to the canals and get back to the Sam Yacht Station. So I've actually been walking so far, I've walked to the next MRT station just by exploring, and that's what Mang Kong. And what is here? Well, Chinatown is here, Chinatown. And at the moment, it's absolutely crazy. It's three o'clock in the afternoon at the moment, and it is absolutely rammed with people. All the stalls are still open, but this place more comes alive at night. So I'd highly recommend, like I said, to visit here at night and see everything that's going on. Because even right now, it should be like a quieter period. It is crazy. So Chinatown, I actually featured in another video as well. Again, the MRT video. So I'm gonna put a few clips of that as well. But directly opposite the Wat Mang Kong station is, uh, is a market. And inside they've got so much stuff. They've got so much stuff prepared for uh, the Chinese New Year here, the, the Year of the Tiger, uh, loads of dragon stuff. Uh, it's, just, it's just crazy at the moment. And like I said, today, today's just uh, the usual Wednesday three o'clock in the afternoon and it's like this. Imagine what it's like at night. Two seconds. We started off at Isra Prat, but you got two huge temples which are worth visiting. Uh, you saw earlier, they're absolutely beautiful. It's a nice little walk, there's nice little local places, 
to look at as well. We then moved on to San Amchai, which has its own museum inside of the station as well, as well as a museum on top. Not forgetting Watpo, Wataroon, Big Buddha, and everything else that is in that area. Next up we went to Sam Yacht, where they have the canal with the market, the weekend market from 4 p.m. onwards. We're a bit further down the canal, there's obviously all of the market stalls with the textiles and sweets and loads of other things to do and see. And obviously we went walking, well, I went walking down there for absolutely miles, and it led me to Wat Mang Kong, which is where we are now, and it is home of Chinatown. And uh, not only Chinatown, but loads of other little markets, loads of other, uh, you can just indulge beyond your belief. And look, this has taken me four hours just to go around and do all this little video. I've not explored everywhere fully. I didn't go to Wat Po today. I didn't go to Wat Roon today. And it's still, and it's still taking me this long. So honestly, it's gonna take you between six and eight hours. It's a full day if you wanna do these four stations and these multiple different places. Probably like 10 different places that you can visit on these four different stations alone. And it is a whole day trip. These four stations are all really tight together. They're so close, so you're not messing around, traveling all over Bangkok. You're just going from one station to another. And it's about 15 to 17 baht just to go from one station to another. So it's just absolutely nothing, really. So, but yeah, all right. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And uh, yeah, give me some advice if you know uh, other sort of little trips than that that I could do in the future, and I'll get them covered. Peace.